If you're one of the crews disappointed with the amount of content in Sea of Thieves, you could consider Worlds Adrift, which is in closed beta and coming to early access on Steam May 17th. Fair warning, Worlds Adrift does have a lot of resource gathering, but on the other side of that is you building your own ships and then flying them to tons of dev and user-created islands and dungeons in search of technology to build better ships. The game doesn't have a traditional leveling system, but instead is physics-based. You build a ship wrong, it'll flip over. You only get better by just practicing and getting better. We saw some really cool stuff in our dev session, such as some gorgeous user-created dungeons, learning to use the direction of the wind to navigate through a storm wall, and oh, an epic ship-to-ship -ship battle between our crew flying a ship dubbed the Ghetto Star Destroyer and another crew flying what we named Budget Treasure Planet. A battle, by the way, that lasted around 40 minutes and led to everyone getting marooned. Ship-to-ship -ship battles in this game are made to be more like ship-to-ship -ship battles of old, where crews traded blows, went off and repaired, then came back to finish what they started. Because of the world's persistence, other players will probably run across the ruins of our ship someday. As it stands in beta right now, the early part of the game is learning to build a ship, such as a sailboat. Mid-game is getting through storm walls to other regions to find better tech to build better ships. And the end game that we'll show you right after this is punching through a particularly nasty sandstorm wall into the Badlands, where skilled crews come to PvP. Developers are currently working on what they hope to evolve into player alliances who will then fight for territory control and facilitate trading, but there's no ETA on those features. At the end of the day, Worlds Adrift is a physics-based exploration game with resource gathering, and much of what happens comes from player creativity. All right, let's get to an epic long-running battle between the Ghetto Star Destroyer and Budget Treasure Planet.